Bunge la taifa limepokea maombi ya wakenya wanne wanao azimia kuondolewa mara moja kwa makamishina wanne wa tume huru ya kusimamia uchaguzi na mipaka afisini. Kulingana na maombi hayo, Juliana Cherera, Irene Masit, Francis Wanderi na Justice Nyangaya walikiuka katiba kwa kukubaliana kuhusu pendekezo la kubadili matokeo ya urais ya mwaka 2022 au kushinikiza awamu ya pili ya kura ya urais. Hata hivyo wabunge wa mrengo wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya Coalition walipozilia mbali maombi hayo wakidai kuwa tayari swala hilo lipo mahakamani na kwamba yalikuwa na nia mbaya. Mizuka ya uchaguzi wa rais wa mwaka 2022 sasa imerudi kuandama makamishna wanne wa IEBC ambao walitofautiana na mwenyekiti wa IEBC wa Fula Chebukati na makamishna wengine wawili kuhusu kura za rais kulingana na maombi hayo makamishna wa IEBC Juliana Cherera Irene Masit Francis Wanderi na Justice Nyagaya kwa misingi ya ukiukaji mkubwa wa katiba Commissioners grossly misconduct themselves by a Concurring to support the unlawful attempt to alter the results of the presidential elections in favor of one candidate or in the alternative to force a runoff. B. Acting in liaison with one faction in a presidential election. C. Refusing to follow the well set out guidelines for the verification and telling announcement of the presidential elections. Kwa mujibu wa taarifa waliotoa kwa vyombo vya habari saa chache kabla ya kutangaza kwa matokeo rais katika ukumbi wa Bomas ilikuwa sababu tosha ya kuonyesha jinsi wanne hao walikuwa wakipendelea upande mmoja na pia ilikuwa aibu sana kwa ofisi yao Issuing press statements with close semblance with the press statements by, by Azimio la Umoja one Kenya presidential candidate contrary to articles 10 732 BC 75 232 and 249 of the constitution Hata hivyo swala hilo lilibua migawanyiko kati ya bunge wa Kenya kwanza na wale wa azimio huko kitofutiana wazi kuhusu maombi hayo But we allow the committee to consider that petition and uh, uh, I think is just the first stage uh, in such a process when you are dealing with constitutional commissions The deputy CEO of IBC Madam Ruth Kulundo is in court on among other things convening a meeting with the four commissioners to decide on legal representation so this house will be contravening its own rules and indeed the law generally by entertaining a petition that is touching on issues that are actively before court i don't see the agency the case that is in court is not about the removal of the four commissioners it is about hiring of the lawyers and i think the committee will be able to look at whether the mother is abjudice or not. The court ruled against us. We were told we are hot air, cold air, wild goose chase, tame goose chase. And we accepted and we moved on, Mr. Speaker. So I think actually this petition is in very bad taste. It's taking the country back. And I think what we need to do is let the commissioners go on with their work. The ones who are supposed to retire, let them retire honorably. Let the ones who want to continue with their work continue. Maombi hayo ya wakenya wanne yaliwasilishwa kwa kamati idara ya haki na sheria ambapo yataskilizwa kabla ya kuwapatia makamishna wanne nafasi ya kujitetea na kisha kuandaa kwa ripoti iwapo Rais Ruto anastahili kubuni jopo la kuwachunguza wanne hao. Every person has the right to administrative action which is expeditious, efficient, lawful reasonable and procedurally fair two every person has the right to be given written reasons for any administrative action that is taken against him Tayari Rais William Ruto ametangaza nafasi za kazi katika nafasi ya mwenyekiti wa IEBC na wajumbe wawili wa tume uchaguzi kuanzia tarehe 17 Januari mwaka ujao huku hatma yao ya miaka sita ikifika kikomo Januari mwaka ujao tarehe 17 Chris Dairo KTN News Nairobi Msistizo umeendelea kuwekwa na waziri wa usalama wa taifa Kithure Kindiki